the belt of the tiger moth. So this can go. It's empty for now. And we have a look at the instructions and the first thing it says is to take the men off. Now I've already started taking the parts off and I've got them here. Let me just pop those out of the way for a second. Part one, mechanic. I've glued him together and you can see I, put, I had to put some filler in it, but not a lot. I'm surprised at that. I've got to clean him up. Uh, I did this last night so that I could just do it on video this morning. Oh, it's a quick, just a quick scrape off of the trousers and that is basically all it needs. All right, now we've got to do that all the way around him. I'll do that off camera, I won't do it on camera. The other thing, next one, is the uh, pilots. Now, I did say in the review that, uh, hang on, where is he? Where is he? I lost him. There's this one here that's got a full moustache right across his face. I'm going to call him the instructor. Right, the fully qualified pilot here. Um, I'm going to put him together and let him dry, I'll clamp him up and leave him to dry overnight. And then I'm going to chop him up with a saw. Now don't call me West for nothing. <laughs> anyway, uh, Fred West. I hate him. He lost me loads of jobs. Um, this I'm going to call the pupil. And you probably already guessed why I'm calling them instructor and pupil. There's some other bits here. I know I've gone on a bit, little bit about this, but I do love the Tiger Moth. I've got the engine here. Uh, lovely detail, nice crisp detail on it. For a kit of this age and being sold to a different manufacturer, <coughs> these moulds have really held up well. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, pilots, pilot or co-pilot's hands here. I filled some of the holes up in this here. Yeah. It's the only bits that I found that were a bit defective. Um, they had bad sick marks in their hands, so I filled those up to make them better. Um, I've got another set here. And again, I filled the holes up with some putty. Uh, can I come in on this and give you a bit, a bit better view of this? Here you are. You see, I've just filled the the holes up in the palms of both the hands there you are and uh, ready to do the uh, the side let me just get this in shot here the side I think you can see that hopefully it's nice and smooth now with just a simple scraping maybe a very very fine sanding over the top just to get rid of any marks you've left in there and he'll be ready for painting basically what I've done is the instruction page I've taken everything off of here that I need um, off the trees and, and put it into a tray ready for working on I've got the uh, engine bearers here and that and uh, the bulkheads and all that which I need to do a little bit of work on I did take the propeller off because this actually is going to need a lot of work uh, to get the get the coloration right on it so I, I pulled that one off as well it'll give me time to work on it also I pulled off the sides here let me come in I've also pulled the sides off here now as you can see there is some detail on here and they're not too bad actually although I'm pretty certain they are actually and this one's in the wrong place as well. I think it should be back here further. And the small uh, throttle levers up here. Again, nice representation. I think they're in roughly the right place. But there's a rod that goes between here and here and then on into the engine. And we'll need to put that in there. If we look at the book. It's nice to have all your references in one place. 
and uh, we'll take a look at this just let me flip through and find the right picture it's a very old thick book this actually a lot of it here right that's the cockpit leading edge slat one there which doesn't have a panel in that particular one but it does in the other one right cockpit uh, details are in here now the throttle and mixture lever is here right on the top there isn't anything on here but there may be something to be put on there I'm just checking this out and there doesn't seem to be anything to be put up there there's holes there but there's nothing there for it to they're on the outside so they're going through the outside so that's the outside uh, yeah. No, there is no. The throttle lever is here, although it's in the wrong place. And uh, it's, it's not a very good representation of the throttle and mixture control. I think I'll make a new one of those up. Take that off and make new ones up. The bottom ones here are the trim tab ones. Um, let's see. Oh, there's this lever on this other side, which is on this one here. That's the slats for the for the top wings. That's cable. Which, uh, it, it is actually dual linkage as well. Uh, closed loop linkage, I should say. No, that's the actual term for it. Again, a good representation of the levers up here, which... These don't look anything like this, so um, we do these levers definitely. The push rods that go through here, they go through the bulkhead as well on here. This is that um, trim lever here. Again, it's in the wrong place on the model. I know it's a bit of a, you know, it's here, isn't it? But we could move this over to here, and I will actually probably make a new one to fit on there. Uh, I need an extra panel in here, a thin plastic, plastic card panel I put in here and then I'll remake this up again here. It's it's roughly right but not right if you know what I mean so I want to get this done as best as possible. The slat lever again would have to be made up, there's a panel on there that's not on here. Oh, we'll do, we do those. So we found out a few little things there and we need to alter and I can get on with those and get them done. So, waffled on a good deal about this aircraft but as I said I do love it. Uh, the wheels, the wheels, not the wheels, the wheels, I don't know what you're talking about wheels. The cockpit chairs I've, I've cut out, I've glued them onto the main bearer and I've put the control columns in. Right, now I've got the control columns on here and the seats are in and I've given it a spray of undercoat. I'll uh, just start doing the top coat in a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, first, however, I need to carve these off of here. They're no good. They're in the wrong place. Uh, literally, they are in the wrong place. Oh, a little bit of a warp, not much heat that'll pull in there. However, we do have, I've just noticed them, I should have noticed these before during the review, but I didn't. Blinded by my love of a tiger moth. We have one here and one here is a sink depression. They are... There's one, oh, there's, another, there's another one here, and another one here, so that's four. They're where the pins are. Right, uh, one there, one there, one there. And again, underside. Now, there, 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 and there. 
there and there we have sink marks so we have six sink marks on the underside which are gonna have to be filled uh, there's some small sink marks in here but they correspond with the with the framework on the inside so we leave those alone we don't touch those uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I think that's about it for now I altered this one here I picked it out in silver it's not very good paint but I, you, you can see what I've done here just moved it from this side to this side where it's supposed to be and the same as this one here you see that's where we're, they're supposed to be um, I made I cut these levers off let me point these here I cut these levers off just here because um, they weren't right and I put two levers on here I put a, uh, a cable between them and that goes out to the bulkhead this one here I've also put a cable onto here and I put a cable onto here going to the rear end actually this is a twin cable I don't know where you can see that I'll try and get a close up of it again throttle levers I put on here we done those uh, on the other side here this is the slat uh, for the front slats on the wings here it's only on the rear section because that's the pilot there passenger or navigator always sits in the front bit of a weird arrangement myself but that's uh, that's the way they've done it in this in tiger moths I've also put a cable going up here to the um, slats which you well you won't actually see it go to the slats because they go up in the uh, uh, I think they go up in the um, the strut in between the strut and into the wing itself um, so there's a, I'll put those on there and I've given it a coat of internal green but I don't like it it's the paler green that's on the um, the model that I'm actually doing but it's very pale and I don't I'm not certain about it. It looks the same, but it just doesn't seat right with me. Anyway, right, before I do any more to this, is what I've done is also I've glued the bulkheads in, and I've done that by putting the two, uh, gluing one side, putting the two halves together, and making sure that it all fitted in, pushing it back, making sure it fitted on the, on its location place here, and done the. Um, the rear bulkhead here and I've done the front bulkhead here as well and as you can see there's a little bit of a distortion on this here I, I had to pull these in it was sticking out a bit a bit of um I don't know what do you call it um warpage on that bit there but I pulled it in with a clamp and it goes in fine and exactly what it actually done is when I put this one on here if I can On there and put the pin in there that pin there pulls this up tight as well because that's a bit a bit on the loose side if I get the pin out I can't I lost the pin on the top now <sighs> try to hold it dry fit it together there we go you see that pulls that in there and I'll be able to glue that in nice and even uh, the only bits that I haven't put in here yet are the cockpit uh, instrument panels which I will do but I've got to paint them up and put the dials on before putting those in I still want to put some more colour in here. Well, here are the bits I've glued together. Um, the two pilot pieces I've glued together. I've taken a moustache off this one, made him clean shaven, um, and uh, basically just glued them together. Uh, I'll get to those later. Uh, I've glued the mechanic together. I've left his arm off at the moment because I'm not sure where I'm going to put that. I've also started on the engine. I've glued this, these two halves together. That's all it is at the moment. And uh, that's be ready for painting, priming and painting. What I have done here, well, you can see this is the seat section here. Uh, let me come in a bit on this one because it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit smaller than the rest. Right, the seat section here. Again, I've sprayed it up with the internal green. But that's all I've done for the Tiger Moth so far. Which is actually quite a bit. I mean, most of the most of the internals is done, been repositioned and uh, extra detail put in. The pilots been done, the engine, 
mechanic. So I've got these parts together so far. It's going together quite nicely. It won't take long once I've got all the all the um, all the cables put in for the. Okay, Tiger Moth. Uh, I've done I've done the inside as you can see already. Um, as you've seen already, you, I've done the inside. I'm going to change it. Um, after a recent video I've just seen, uh, I'm remembering it, I had the original in my collection. So I pulled that out and had a look at it. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And it's a Tiger Moth. Um, but it means I've got to change the inside. The, the inside's fine as controls go and all that sort of thing. That's fine. That's no trouble. I don't have to change those. I just have to change the colour of the inside. That's all. And... Uh, the outside's going to be a challenge in painting, so keep fingers crossed, let's hope I'll get this done. Um, one little point is, this seems very small to me. The last time I built one of these, it seemed to be a lot bigger. You know, uh, <laughs> mind you, I probably was smaller then as well, so it looked bigger. Uh, anyway, I'm going to get on with that. I just wanted to put that in. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing. Oh no. No, no, that's for the final review. Um, you might see the paint job before, but the actual model itself, you won't know what it is until the end. Well, I hope you don't anyway. So, till then, I'll see you in, in a bit. I've decided to go with a civilian aircraft rather than the military one, so I've got to take his May West off. Um, private pilots don't usually wear them. I said, well, flying over the sea, so. Okay, right. <clears throat> We've got quite large holes here, and the the holes that have gone through the back, like in the some on the neck here, we can fill quite easily. But these ones on the front here, we're going to have to put some again. Uh, they're just too big. Uh, and if we just give this a I'd like to do is do a wedge and there we have the wedge and that will simply I'll cut it down and I'll fit it straight in there and I'll be able to cut it carve this down around it as well so right if you could just I don't know where you saw that um, but it seems to be um, in there nicely like I said, just a little bit to dry, carve it down, and we have our pilot. Uh, on to the next bit. Okay, um, now it's dried, we can start carving this off. Little thing, um, it's a piece of sprue. Use your sprue cutters to cut the majority of it off. You can actually use it to nibble away at it and get it down to where you're not having to carve off big chunks of it and uh, it's the sprue cutters do a very good job of getting it down to a certain place so then you can use your knife to start carving the rest of it down to the, the shape you require and using sanding sticks of course just get it down to where you roughly need it and, uh, Yeah, it's fairly coarse one, I don't mind. Just to take off that bit. I'll cut lines and that sort of thing. And there we have it. Completely filled. And uh, I'll probably have to put some filler just in, in this hole here. And this one here. But I'll put the other one on first, let that dry, and then come back and do exactly the same thing as I just did. Mm -hmm. 